So today I decided to do this really simple uh, glowy makeup look for you and it doesn't take a lot of products to do. It is a little bit of contouring and it just looks really natural and youthful but there is a little bit of work and technique that is involved to get uh, this kind of look. If you want to see how I got this glowy makeup then just stay tuned. Hey guys, it feels like forever since I've done a makeup tutorial and today I'm actually going to be doing a look that you guys have been requesting a lot. It's the look I have worn in the past couple videos I posted and I'm having some green juice to get me started. So let's get started on the makeup. To begin, I'm using the Dior Skin Air Flash Foundation and I'm using the shade number 300 and I think this is a great foundation for mommies on the go because you can just spray it onto your brush and I'm using the Sigma F80 brush to apply this all over my face and it does look a little bit light compared to my body but this foundation does oxidize slightly so it will get a bit darker and match my body in the end. For concealer I'm using the MAC Pro Longwear in NW25 and I'm using an NW because this counteracts dark eye circles and it has a peachy pink undertone so it's perfect for brightening up the under eye area and concealing those dark bags which if you're a mommy you don't get too much sleep so it's a really good concealer. It also is long wearing which is perfect and if you have mature skin it is also good for mature skin because it doesn't settle into fine lines as well. And I used to never like this concealer and I'm going to tell you why. It's because of the way I applied it. I used my fingers and I think a beauty blender really works perfectly with this concealer. So now I'm kind of liking it since I've been using the beauty blender and I'm also using the Pro Longwear as a highlight but I'm using an NC this time and I'm just applying this down my nose and on my forehead. Also a little bit on my chin and then going back in with that beauty blender to blend everything out and I've had the beauty blender for quite a while now but I just have never used it because quite frankly I was too lazy to get it wet and get up off my butt but now I am loving it and it's definitely worth going to get this wet and use it for your makeup. I am obsessed with this thing right now so I'm just blending out all that concealer I applied to my face as a highlight and I forgot to apply some to my cupid's bow so I'm just going back with my concealer brush and then blending it out with the beauty blender. Now I'm using my MAC Studio Finish Palette in medium and I'm using a Sigma P82 precision brush and using this to contour my face and this is a really quick and easy way that I know to contour my face which makes me appear very natural looking and I find creams better than powders if you want a very natural appearance. So I'm just contouring my nose, applying some on my lower lip to make it appear more full, and then putting some in the hollows of my cheeks as well. And you might think that this isn't a quick way for a mommy to wear her makeup, but honestly, once you get the hang of it, and especially using cream products, it really is pretty fast. Like I can do this in no time at all now because I have practice but I definitely recommend contouring because it makes the finished product look so much better and put together. And I honestly don't go a day without contouring now when I do apply makeup just because it does look so flawless and fresh face. So this is what it looks like without blending it out. It does look a bit harsh around the edges, but I'm also putting this in my socket just to make it appear like there's some depth and dimension and then you can skip applying eyeshadow there so it's really perfect for mommies on the go. Now that all my contour is done I'm going to go back in with that damp beauty blender and just blend everything out so that it all looks seamless and put together. Once you're finished blending everything out your face should look something like this and these are the steps that I take for a natural foundation look. Now I'm going to go in with my Benefit Gimme Brow which is also a perfect product for mummies on the go because you can quickly just throw this in your brows. It grabs little hairs and adds some fullness to areas which are sparse which I have. You know I have sparse eyebrows. So it just fills in your brows perfectly and is really quick and easy to use. For this look I wanted to use one of the new pigments that I got in the holiday collection but I couldn't for the life of me get it open. I tried several times and it just would not open I have no idea why. So I decided to use MAC Naked Pigment in its place and using a Sigma E25 brush this will just lightly apply the pigment to your lid and you do not need much of this pigment. So this brush applies the product perfectly and lightly 
And then I'm going in with my Sigma E40 brush and I'm using that same Naked Pigment as a highlight on my cheekbones and just putting it around my eye as well, just to brighten up that whole area. Also for a brow highlight, I'm bringing that Naked Pigment onto my brow bone and just makes this perfectly highlighted face and it's just really simple to use just one product like a pigment. And now I have this Bobbi Brown Shimmer Brick in Lilac Rose, which is new, so that's why I wanted to use it. And I'm just applying this to the apples of my cheeks and brushing it back. And this just gives a natural flush glow to the skin without looking overdone or harsh. And to set everything, I'm using the NARS Translucent Crystal Powder and a big fluffy brush by Sigma and just applying that on my T-zone. If you have really bad baggage underneath your eyes and need a little extra pick-me-up, I recommend the Bare Minerals Well Rested. It's one of my holy grail products and I would not go a day without this because it really brightens up that area and applies extra coverage if you need it. And for my lips, I decided to try out my Dr. Rescue Baby Lips and this one's in just peachy. And then I'm using the Ad Ardell Demi Wispies for my eyelashes. And you might think, why are you using falsies if this is supposed to be a quick makeup? Well, applying eyelashes to me is actually faster than trying to get my eyelashes to look the way I want them to. And I made a face because my lips are too light for my skin because I am tan right now. So I decided to add some of the pink me up to that lip color. And now it's a perfect pe peachy pink color, which I love. And I'm just spraying my face with the Urban Decay Chill, and this is what my finished makeup looks like. But I did decide to go back and add a couple extra steps since I did have extra time. To further brighten my eyes, I'm using the NARS Larger Than Life Pencil in Rue Bonaparte, which is just a flesh tone color. And applying this to your waterline will really brighten up your eyes. And then I finally got that MAC Vanilla Pigment open, while well, my husband did, and I'm applying that with an E32 brush by Sigma just to my tear duct, and this will also brighten up your eyes a bit more. And for my lower lash line, I decided to use this CoverGirl Lash Perfection Mascara in brown, and a brown is just not as harsh and very natural looking because I did want to further open my eyes. And this is the finished makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. It is very fresh, natural, glowy makeup that I love to use when I'm on the go but want to be put together. Please give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more mommy makeup tutorials.